basically to start out we are gonna take one of our plaster molds to make my plaster mold I used flour and water and cornstarch and I have this really big mold and I'm gonna do it in sections so pulled this little piece and it's probably gonna go right here or so and if you're wondering what those noises in the background are those are my little sister making her little easy bake stuff so now to do this I will be using glue, Elmer's glue, glue stick thing. It helps stick if you don't have spirit gum or the money. So I'm going to look in the mirror. Just follow what I do. Just put it where you're going to put the piece. <coughs> kind of big. Like make it like so like over that. So it doesn't matter if you get like a little bit in your hair. Just try not to. And take your piece. You can see that it's going to be a little bit bigger. And then make it bigger. And put it on. Now, I'm going to reposition it. Yeah. It's not going to be here. I can fold it as much as I need. I'm just going to put it on the glue. Make sure it's like touching the glue. Now this glue is going to dry really fast because it is on the And to help me push down the stuff, I have put a stick to it. I have some <coughs> uh, Okay, so that kind of looks bad. Right there. Bread. Now my eye is gonna be gone. So just, and this is just gonna help keep the illusion that it is gone. So just make sure you there's like only that looks pretty good. And it's not even sticky. Like this stuff, you just touch it all day long. And then, <clears throat> I will show you how to make this in another episode, probably the next one. So I'm just going to keep on. Nice. This is a matter of ears, so it looks really in the. Oh. Like so. Now, I'll get some more stuff to smooth it out. So we don't want it all lumpy yet. Okay, now here comes the part for the eye. Now, the eye part needs to be big and flat. So, Actually, do this. And I'm gonna rip this big piece apart. Luckily, so since it's not sticky, it's like really rippable. That's a funny word. Let <laughs> me get some flour and put that on. Okay. Now this is gonna look like a big blob of goop. Oh, it dropped. Oh yeah. But before I do that, I'm gonna glue. Try to get glue in your eyes, it hurts. <laughs> this is a pretty big piece, so just put it. I'm not doing my whole face because it's a half a face thing that I'm doing. Oh. Blue does not taste good. And you're just gonna kind of over a little piece of blue. Right there, it absolutely looks horrible. So, I'm gonna put it in, make sure. Okay. 
right now I'm not gonna cover my eye. Yeah. Your eye. I'm pulling until it works. You can see like I'm crying a little bit. It doesn't really look like it, but right here. I'm trying to get the edges. The little oh, it's on your Yeah. And you guys probably cannot even hear me because I have my, I mean, kind of, do this with your face, like, ah, and then just make it go to the, your face so you can still move. And even when it's all dry, you'll still be able to move. It won't even feel like it's there. And that's what's really cool about this stuff. Okay, so, yeah. My hands are getting sticky. Okay, and then we're gonna actually go back again, glue, put back on like that, and then just merge it together. Right here, since it didn't really come out good, I'm just gonna glue it right. So now your guys' angle. Really, really dumb. And trust me, in the mirror, it looks really dumb. But, oh, so what I'm gonna do next is just take some flour or whatever powder, like cornstarch, or you can just powder your whole face ish, like around it, powder. It's just gonna look really cool when it's all done. Yeah, so I'm thinking that I should move my mirror. So you guys can see like what I'm working. You guys can see what I'm doing this way, but it's not a place I can actually try to support it up. So right there, right here, I'm actually take your glue. It's okay to get on the hands because it depends like if you're wearing like a bald cap or something, but I don't have like a latex and I don't have money to buy the bald cap. So, I just leave it as it is because this stuff comes out really easy. So, I can still take my tongue and like mold it. So, I can't really see it, but like dots are like coming in here to like dry it out. That's really annoying. Cool. Okay. So now it only matches like the thing. I want to be able to face it in there. Breathe. I'm like coming over on the other side. If you move anywhere else, like if you're on your own, make sure you glue it, or it will not look good. 
So as long as you're having a stretching like right there, you can go cool. Or spirit gumbo. Once again, I don't have money. <laughs> Just put extra this on me. Gotcha. Okay. So that's really it for the plaster. I mean, like, look, I can, like, when I'm done, I'm gonna, like, a whole bunch. So. Okay. Then I'll do the eye once I get all the other makeup stuff done, because I'm actually gonna have to black out my eye before I put it on, just to look illusionist. So what I need to do to start out the makeup is, um, you know where my eyebrow is? I may bone where my eye is, just put a hole, like, lightly so you don't, like, hurt yourself. Like that. Okay, so, if you look, there's, like, a dot, and then you're gonna grab, like, dark colored makeup, like, not like, well, it's, like, dripping on my mouth, because we're... Take like a dark black and just pot it in set. Now when you first do it, it won't look that good. Because either it's your first time or because you haven't added anything else and it's just the white and the black. So it's like cream color. I'm gonna try to stay in here so I'm not to the bones. Okay, so you take that piece away and close your eye. Take black. Make sure the makeup you're wearing isn't going to hurt your water. Because if you have some, if it gets in your water line, it's going to hurt really bad. Because since mine's going to be like bloody because it's like brownish, it'll look brown, but right now it just looks awkward. Okay, so the black is almost done, like, pretty much done, yeah. What you're gonna do is take some of that powder, like, flour, cornstarch, whatever. Okay. That. And now, here comes the fun part where you get to color through your eye. So what you need to do, let this dry, take a cool stick. really hard to do. So it's gonna die. Really close to it, I've never touched it because and now I can't even see but it looks good now. For my angle it doesn't mean Getting close. I wonder how long I've been doing this. 14 minutes? Oh man. YouTube's probably gonna stop me at 10. I mean, like 15, I mean. Yeah. That's how they are. Now, when you look, I like this blue. There's a bubble. Because your eye needs room to see. Make sure you have the bubbles so you don't get any in your eye. I'm just gonna mix it together. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. And here comes the fun part for me. I just whenever I see clues, just take your fingers. It works a lot better. Than just touch it with that. Doesn't even have. 